Hello, my name is Erhard Strobel and I work in the technical sales department at Bloom Novatus GmbH. In this short video, I would like to demonstrate the possibilities offered by our lathe measurement technology, particularly in the turning sector, where many machines are automated by a bar feeder or a different loading system, which should make it possible to produce good parts reliably in unmanned operation. With our measurement technology, your processes can be optimized quite easily, thereby reducing rejects to a minimum. In this video, I would like to explain how such systems can be employed in lathes. These are the topics that will be addressed in this video. Firstly, I want to show you an overview of our product range. Then we will take a look at tool and workpiece measurement for sliding and fixed headstock lathes. I will then explain the software solutions available and the various application examples. As you can see here, we offer many different measuring systems and are, therefore, able to select exactly the right probe with the corresponding software for your application. The probes are available in a range of sizes and varying signal transmissions, thus ensuring we provide the ideal solution for every machine type. We like to distinguish between tool and workpiece measurement. With tool measurement, a tool can be measured prior to machining or checked for breakage during the actual process. Using a workpiece probe, it is possible to set zero points or verify several component dimensions. In most cases, automatic tool correction is then performed to ensure the following component is manufactured to the average tolerance limit. Lathes, for instance, provide us with completely different conditions to milling machines, where the probe waits for its call in the magazine during machining. In the majority of turning applications, the probe is permanently bombarded with coolant, oil or chips within the workspace. To guarantee accurate results, even under these harsh operating conditions, we have developed an extremely robust lathe variant especially for these demands. As you most probably know, there are many different types of fixed headstock lathes. This overview presents various solutions that show tool and workpiece measurement in fixed headstock lathes. I would now like to demonstrate this live at the machine. This is a Miyano BNA42 in which we have installed a range of measuring systems. In this case, the only permanent installation is the receiver. It is available as a wireless and an infrared version. Several systems can be controlled with each receiver. On turret 1, a probe is clamped into a drill holder by means of a clamping shaft. With this setup, measurements can only be carried out on the main spindle. On turret 2, there is also a probe that is used solely to carry out measurements on the opposed spindle. With a variant installed in turret 1 and a cross-shaped probe it is possible to carry out measurements at both the main spindle and the opposed spindle. This cuts out one measuring probe and frees up one tool pocket in the turret. A tool probe is also installed here with which tools mounted horizontally to the spindle are measured for length and checked for wear and breakage. At the same position, it is also possible to attach a workpiece touch probe that is equipped with a protective sleeve. The probe, which can be deflected in several directions, is fully protected beneath the sleeve and cannot be damaged during machining. This probe can be used to measure the length and radius of a tool. No matter how a tool is positioned, internal turning tool, External turning tool, drilling tool, everything can be monitored. Our measuring systems can also be installed in sliding headstock lathes, where space is usually very limited. As with the fixed headstock lathes, it is also possible to install tool probes. In this particular example, only one tool is checked. With unconverted machines, this is a common solution for monitoring individual tools. This is the installation of a wired probe. Wired probes are often preferred in sliding headstock lathes, as they are smaller in size and can, therefore, be integrated more easily into small machines. As you can see here, wireless probes can also be installed, which type always depends on the customer's measuring activities. Where the probe does not have to be converted, a wired system is used, while wireless systems are more suitable for changing measuring positions and space in the working area. Various measuring tasks can be solved with our measuring cycles. The one-point measurement can be performed in any available axis, 
for example to record a zero point or to check a single dimension. This can be used, for example, for hardened components that only have a small allowance. The two-point measurement can be used to measure inner clearances, outer clearances, recesses or angles. Automatic correction to the nominal size can be performed after each measurement. Especially for series production, our service department offers process adaptation in addition to the standard software. This adaptation allows you to program the right solution for your application. For example, if you have a diameter with a component tolerance of 15 micrometers and do not want to have to perform a measurement after each and every component, we can provide you with a counter that can be used to set exactly after how many components measurement and correction should be carried out. Another important aspect is an area in which no correction should be made. In this case, for example, it is possible to set that correction should not be performed between 0 to 8 micrometers. In other words, a tool should only be corrected by a certain percentage when the result is between 8 to 15 micrometers. To ensure the correction is right, the measurement can be repeated within the correction range using a different spindle position. Only when this measurement is also within the correction range is the correction carried out. Here you can see an application example of the aforesaid machine. On this machine a probe was installed on each turret. First you will see a one point measurement for the set zero point offset. This is followed by the start of machining. Machining then starts on the main spindle and on the opposed spindle channel 2, a set zero point offset is carried out simultaneously. While the measurement is started again on the main spindle, channel 2 can continue machining. Various measurements are now performed on the main spindle. A diameter in Y, a distance, one point measurement by clocking the spindle. For example, it is also possible to carry out runout monitoring. Channel 1 has now finished and measurements are now being carried out at channel 2. The measured values can now also be used to perform tool correction directly. In the next example, we will demonstrate probe installation on a hardened lathe with FANUC control. On this machine, hardened tool holders are finished. The customer checks the allowance after pre-turning, adjusts the respective tools, thereby eliminating a grinding process. Here you can see the installation of a probe in a DMG Sprint 65. A flushing pipe is installed above the probe to flush the component clean during the measurement. Due to the high measuring force of our probe, it is not deflected unintentionally despite the high level pressure of 80 bar. In addition to workpiece measurement, we also offer software for our tool probes. The software can be used to measure or check tools in any direction. In this special medical technology application, very small tools must be checked for breakage after machining. You can see our Z-Pico, which is the smallest Z-probe in our portfolio. Due to the low measuring force of this probe, tools measuring 0.05 mm in diameter or more can be measured or checked. The next example shows a combination of tool and workpiece measurement in a Hanwha sliding headstock lathe. Thanks to our infrared and wireless receivers, several systems can always be controlled. The process starts with a tool length measurement. This is followed by the start of machining. You can see that the measuring systems are being constantly bombarded by coolant, yet they still measure with a high level of accuracy. Here you can now see the measurement of an outer diameter using two points and a one point measurement of a surface. The tools can be corrected automatically after such measurements. An external and internal measurement is now also carried out on the opposed spindle. This is our final example. In this case, a probe with a protective sleeve is installed above the main spindle. The cube situated under the protective sleeve can be used to measure the length and radius of various tools, regardless of whether they are internal or external turning tools. Simple checks for breakage or wear are also possible.
The probe is used to check various component dimensions, distance measurements, surface measurements, angular positioning and finally a C-axis measurement. Component alignments can be carried out via C-axis measurements. In most cases, these are not carried out on the finished component as here, but on the blank for alignment purposes. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or one of my colleagues. I am sure we can find the right solution for your application.